Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to check out the HBX 901A, which is the brushless version, and it's supposed to be quite cool, and how about we have a look? And here it is, the HBX 901A or the Firebolt by Haiboshin. So this model is ready to run, has 4 wheel drive, 2.4 GHz, qualified shocks, whatever that means, ball bearings and a strong motor, metal gears and it is splash proof. So we have the 901A model which is the brushless version. Here we have a picture of the brushed version. Technically it's okay to have a brushed version but it comes with so many downgrades from my perspective that you have plastic diffs and gears, plastic drift cups, plastic drive shaft. If you can afford it, just go for the brushless version. You will get so much more value out of it. You get all the good metal parts and of course oil filled shocks. And here's the orange version that I have. And of course you have the blue and white one. Also make sure you are not allowed to charge a battery pack unless clearly supervised by an Adweet. Let's open that box. Cardboard instead of plastic, I like it. Also, no unnecessary plastic straps. We will have a look at the car later. Now let's look inside here. So we have the radio control, which looks a bit plasticky. And also I have relatively small hands, so a bit difficult for me for one-handed steering, um, but fully proportional, which is good. We have steering trim, steering durarate. Steering durarate means you can adjust the angle from the tires in the front. Also, you can adjust the throttle. Steering reverse and throttle reverse are also there. And then we have some warning on the sticker. The plastic feels a bit cheap. It's not the best feeling, but it's okay. The remote takes four AA batteries. I always use rechargeable ones. Also, mind the warning on the sticker. And of course you should read the instruction which has the parts and the spares in it as well. A sticker sheet, a rear wing aka spoiler and a screwdriver, an USB charger that should charge your battery in a little bit over an hour, spare clips that's useful. Now let's have a look at the car itself. We have oil shocks, front CVDs and metal dog bones in the back. The tires seem of good quality, they are relatively soft and Kind of grippy, that's good. Let's have a look inside. Careful not to nick the cables. Oh, that's an interesting choice for the cable. It's not so easy to nick it off. And we have a warning, the motor can get hot. It is a 3800 kV brushless motor. And we also have a 35A ESC combo, also with some heatsink on it. Next to it is the servo. And now let's have a look at the battery. I like the Velcro strap. 1600 milliamp hour lipo i suggest that you buy some extra because they will run down quickly some foam protection on the shock towers which will make things easier for the cover and the oil shocks in action again bounce 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 all metal gearing which i like now let's take this puppy out remote on and the car on. So let's check out that steering servo. What do you think? I'm not sure. It doesn't seem so powerful, but we'll see how it handles when driving. Speed is at about 60%. Let's go.
Breaking it up for the montage. <laughs> The battery died after less than 10 minutes so I had to swap it as well as the location. For the price you get a pretty decent RC where you can have lots of fun with it. But make sure you get the brushless version. And extra battery. By the way, I'm now an official YouTube partner so let's celebrate with some donuts. And there's also some for you thanks to all my viewers because without you it wouldn't have been possible. And also, as of now, if you want to support the channel, you can send me super thanks if you have some change to spare. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you.